Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm going to show, how to change CPU name in about this Mac. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. And now, let's start. As of now, you can see, the current processor name is showing as Quad Core Intel Core i5, but the actual CPU is AMD Ryzen 5 3400G, with Radeon Vega graphics. Now, to change the CPU name, you'll need Open Core Configurator, and Restrict Event.Cext. Now, open Open Core Configurator, and mount your ESP. Now put the Restrict Events.Cext to the EFI's OC. Now, you'll have to edit your config plist file. In Open Core Configurator, go to the Kernel tab, and then add the kext, from EFI's OC kext folder. After adding the kext, make sure that it's enabled, and is in proper order. Now, if your hardware consists AMD CPU, you'll need to perform an extra step. Go to the Patch section, and then the core count must be set correctly for AMD systems to show the CPU brand string otherwise, if set incorrectly. The CPU name may show as unknown. To set core count according to your CPU, follow the link from the I button. Keep in mind that this step is only required for AMD CPU users. Now, go to the NVRAM tab, and then select the last UUID, and then add a boot arg. Adding this boot arg will display the exact brand string of your CPU. In case you want something else that your brand string, Select second UUID, and then add a new key, and name it following. As I want my original CPU brand string to be displayed, instead of any custom brand string. So I won't be adding any key here. Now go to the platform info tab, then the data hub section, and here depending on your CPU core count, set the processor type. After making the changes, quit open core configurator, while saving the changes, and then restart your PC, to see the changes. Also, during restart, make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once. And now after the restart, you can see, that the process name is the same as my CPU brand string. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.